This is a puzzle box that I built to give to my father for Father's Day. And you can see that it's got letters on the front in no understandable order. It's got some sections on the bottom. It's got some pegs on the top and some pins and a hole. On this side, you've got some connectors, numbers zero through nine, and some LEDs. On the back side, you can see there are some hinges. You've got some security screw bits here. No idea what's behind that. And on this side, you've got uh, some metal behind some indentations and some symbols along the top and the side. There's something going on down here, but you can't do anything with it. And the bottom of the box, you got uh, four feet. So the point here is to open this puzzle box. And I didn't give much explanation as to what I should, uh, what should be done here. So the first step, one of the legs actually unscrews. And once you've unscrewed it far enough, this drawer, now that we know it's a drawer, has popped open. Inside this drawer, we've got five magnets and what looks like it might be a clue. There's a hole here in the corner that the threaded leg screwed up through in order to keep this from popping out. If we look at this note here, we can take out the five magnets. This note uh, says 524 and P and some symbols. And it's got what looks like a magnet at the top. Coincidentally, these are magnetic. And on the back, it's got another note, 245 Dad. So I made him figure this out, but uh, the box also came with three gears. You can see that those have the letters of the alphabet on them in a random order. Same with this one, but a different order, and a third one. So, he's got these two notes. They both happen to have two, four, and five in different orders. And these gears happen to have differing numbers of spokes, two, four, and five. And these gears happen to fit on the pegs on the top of the box so that they mesh with each other. And they line up so that when one letter is lined up with one of the pins, you have the other letters also lined up with the pins. So there's some kind of decoding that can go on here. And if you were to take two, four, five, dad, that's giving him the hint to set the gears up as two, four, and five, and to line them up with the word dad. Initially pointing at the pins. So that this combination is the one that's going to be able to decode a message for him. Well, that doesn't necessarily help yet. These magnets fit into these slots, but we don't know which of these holes these five magnets should go into. Well, it so happens that if you unscrew this leg the rest of the way, It is a screwdriver. A screwdriver that happens to fit these screws. 
So if we unscrew these screws, This panel will come loose. And we receive a plate with holes in it that happens to match this symbol. Hmm. Well, if we come back around to the front of the box, these seem to line up with letters here, but what's the right combination of letters? Well, this happens to have magnets in it so that it only sits at one place on the box. And this combination, using this setup on the wheels, when decoded, will tell you which positions to use for the magnets here. Actually, it will tell you which five letters to feed into this combination on the gears on the top, which also have symbols on the back side. So when you put a letter in to the first gear, you will get a pair of symbols out the other two gears, and their intersection will tell you where to place the magnets. So if we place the magnets in the right combination, we hear a noise. This drawer was previously closed and has popped out. We pull this drawer out. We have some kind of cable and another card. This one only has one side, but it's talking about B and a combination for the gears. Well, we have a four from the two spoke, four spoke, five spoke, but we don't have a three and a six. So we don't know how we can read this message yet, or what the B has to do with. Well, if we spin the box back around, this plate has two sides, an A side and a B side. Well, it doesn't go where it previously fit, it fits elsewhere in one spot and one spot only. Well, this message we can't yet decode because we don't have the three and the six spoke gear. Well, it so happens if you take one of the drawers that came out previously and you slide it in upside down, it causes a different drawer to come out the front and it has two gears in it, a three spoke and a six spoke. Now you would be able to decode this message on the B side of this plate. When you decode that message, it tells you a combination of numbers to use. The numbers in this case happen to be zero, two, which causes a light to come on, 23, 15, 0, 4, 16, 17. And the lights flash, and then we hear a noise,
Let's figure out where that came from. Wait, this wasn't hiding before. We've got a drawer with a key in it. The key happens to fit in this hole in the top. And when unlocked, the box is open. Inside, I chose to set it up so that you could see the wiring for the pegboard on that side and some of the internals for the magnetic reed switches on this side. And it has a false bottom so that you can see all of the internals going on inside the box. I used servo motors to slide the key holder in and out. This is a 3D printed latch that when slid to the side causes the drawer to pop open. And there's some batteries and Arduino over here running the software for the box. So that is the completely custom puzzle box that I made. And in the link below I will show where you can find all of the drawings and designs and software on GitHub if you want to build a copy of this yourself. Thank you.